Hello YouTube, this is the Sixpence Pot Welder, now with upgrades. I've got it on two batteries today, two normal car batteries, actually they're both 45 amp hours. They're both 45 amp hours. Seems to be okay. That's the welder without the LCD on. Well, down here are the. Down here is the kit. Parts of the kit. So we have the LCD at the top there. Normal 16 by 2 LCD. That's the control board. The control board has now got a. Um, a little SMD PET capacitor, film capacitor there, and that has a large amount of kick to drive the 1407 FET driver to get to drive the gates on the FET. So I'm really, I'm really pleased with that. Um, we've got power board. PCB with um, surface mount gate resistors fitted. Loads of 100 ohm gate resistors. That's the back. That's the front of the power board. And uh, yeah, that little this shocky diode fits just. Uh, just on there, and then there's the TVS diodes. These TVS diodes go sit above all the fits. These holes here. One, two, three, and then I've got some uh, four switches, two LEDs, and two. I think those are five and a half milli barrel jacks that's the, that's the kit yeah so back to the, the unit um, we'll we'll uh, we'll power it up I'll put that LCD back on first before I do that Like I said, the foot switch is in a, a barrel jack now. Same as the same as the power side, same as the power uh, input. It's just a normal, um, common size 5.5 millimeter barrel jack that goes in the foot switch um, connector. should have my power connector over on this side that's it there it's just a normal um, uh, power adapter AC power adapter coming off the wall that's got 12 volts on there 12 volts goes into the power socket and press door we should have a life there we go those are the default values of one for pulse one, one millisecond for the other, five milliseconds for pulse two. I'm going to go down to zero for pulse one actually. I'm just going to do a single pulse. You can go up and down with these two. They're a nice feel, these buttons. I like these buttons, they're a nice, a nice feel to them. Pressing reset, just it's just like disconnecting the power here. Press reset, everything goes back to default values. Reboots the chip, really. And select. Moves over. So it should, should be able to be changed, changed to the delay now. 
but the delay goes down and up. I'm going to press select again and I should be able to change pulse to I'll go up to 15 <coughs> so there we go to go at that now I forgot to say, when I, when I do the well, keep an eye on this LED. That little red LED there will, will, will flash when it fires. Try and get that in shot. So you've got a single pulse at 15 milliseconds. Which is good enough to weld this, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.15 rather, millimeter nickel. So you can see, and full switch three. Watch the LED three, two, one. Bit of a kick on the cables. The LED flashed one time, and uh, let's see. You've got two nice spot wells there. You can see that. So I lift that's turned off, that's that's ripped off. There are holes there now. So I did it properly well, did you? It's properly welded. Thank you for watching.